Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more F1 Manager 2023. We're back with Williams. We're trying to return Williams back to the glory days. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, one thing that's new in 2023 is that you, I think you can get the sack, which is a bit of a concern because we're not very good. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think from our point of view, there's not a lot we can do. We're waiting for our parts to turn up. Uh, that's going to happen after the next race. I think we just we just go right. Our race simulator is going to be upgraded, which is good news because it's going to mean the uh, the the boys can do a, a little better in terms of of um, improvement. So we can see now they go from twenty to forty percent improvement, which is great. I'm going to save some money. I want to either get um, or either get more money for um, the more more engineers or start to spend money on, on improving our parts by getting better facilities. Uh, we're, we're almost here. Let's have a little look. I don't think there's much for us to do here. They do expect clear skies. Uh, we could go to this and say we'll get into qualifying too, but um, you know, I think we just stick with what, we, what we've got for the time being. I don't think we want to push too hard too soon. Okay. And let's see what they have to say about Saudi Arabia. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, actually, is I'll, I'll talk to you after the little intro that we hear. We're here in Jeddah, where the tension is boiling as we head into the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. The circuit at Jeddah, spread along streets that run next to the Red Sea, is one of Formula One's highest speed tracks. It's a test of skill from start to finish, with cars just millimeters from the walls. The Jeddah Street Circuit has one of the fastest average speeds, as well as the most corners of any track on the calendar. Good high speed downforce is going to make life in the fast lane a little easier for drivers here this weekend. In the last round, Max Verstappen flew to victory. The Dutchman proving that he can be absolutely unstoppable when he's in such fine form. Sit tight then for the rest of the action. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, um, so if you want to watch the 2020 uh, series of, of, of F1 Manager, uh, it is still going out. It's just going out on my Patreon page. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to sign up, I don't believe. It should just be there as a public, a public uh, video. I just didn't want to keep sort of adding to the channel uh, with with two series of the same same thing really um but yeah i don't want to make you pay for it they're just over there so if you want to keep up to date with that it does tail off at some point uh, but i think there's still quite a lot of episodes to go so by all means head over there if you want to want to see that one they're just they're just over there now instead of on on youtube um let's let's have a little look i wasn't really listening to what he said about about our car setup uh, so i think we're just gonna we're just gonna guess um, I mean, we always guess, right? I just feel like there's probably I should probably listen to what the tracks are like, and that should mean, well, I know I need this, and I know I need that, but yeah, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> let's uh, let's go a little bit heavier. We're going on the hards. That's fine for you. Uh, we did change all of our car parts, right? So we're on our slightly worse uh, engine and and the like. Uh, and we can do the same here. I guess you know what? We'll send you the other way, shall we? Oh, hold on, we sent you the same way. Let's send you the other way. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's go. We'll do the practice on these ones. Um, last time out, we, we spent about an hour and a half on the episode. I'm sure this episode will be shorter um, as we as we learn. Hold on, how come you're going already? We've literally just started. Uh, so you can see we've got a 76. We've still got 0% of the track knowledge. But we've got um, we've got more knowledge in terms of car parts so obviously the, the more we race with the car the higher that number will become but equally as we get new parts of our next race we should have two new parts which uh which might impact our performance let's get going this is more about not crashing and getting this number up than it is about anything else let's just see how we go sorry guys you crashed it you okay yeah i'm fine you literally crashed it. Changing gearbox gears isn't working. What are you talking about? Oh, good. Oh, good. 
Now, Alex Albon is part of this. I mean, that didn't look like a gearbox problem. That looked like a you driving into the wall problem. God damn it, Albon. Okay, so that's you done for the... That's you done for the session, is it? Oh, good. Sergeant, it's on you, buddy. Okay, safety car's ending. That's fine. Copy. We're six seconds slower than Stroll. We're nine seconds slower than everybody. Oh, there we go. No, hold on. Is it, am I... Oh, we're nine seconds behind. Okay. I feel less... Less concerned now. <laughs> I mean, we're still three and a half seconds slower. And over half a second slower than the most. There we go. Norris is still here. Don't worry. Don't worry. That McLaren is terrible at the moment. I'm assuming it won't be terrible for too much longer. We're three or five feedback. Let's see how we do. Four or five. Let's get ready to bring him in. I always get quite excited about the new parts coming in and seeing how much that improves the car and then they don't make a huge impact and you're like, oh. Not okay. he's, he's not happy. I'm really struggling to drive this at the moment. He's not happy is what he's telling us. Let's... Um, Let's figure that out. Okay, so that's that's a tweak. Um, I guess we just go with that, right? There isn't anything else for us to do. Wow. I'm assuming we can get the... I don't know how many spare parts we've got. We didn't buy many because we knew we were going to be replacing some. So we might be in real trouble. I don't have any spare wings for the race or anything. Okay. Let's go again, Sergeant. any better we're not getting any greens which is a little bit concerning right surely you're meant to get better as you go right surely one green in that in those sectors down here would be would be amazing What is happening? Three or five feedback. Four or five feedback. We should be able to get you in fairly soon. Feedback from you. Yeah, high speed feels good. Good, that is yeah, good news. Fun. Let's get him in. Got 10 minutes left. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Let's, uh, let's just tweak a little bit, right? I think... Probably doing something like that is... Good enough, maybe? Okay, well, let's go with... Let's go with that and just see how we... How we do. I'm going to put you on like five laps and on softs, I think. That's if we get the car done in time to get out there. Let's see. We might get one or two laps in.
Okay, we have sent Sergeant out. Okay, nice. Nice. Great, we'll get the boys in. We'll wrap up. Uh, Alban, not amazing that, buddy. Not amazing. Okay, so we got to keep practice too. Um, your car setup is untested. It'd be nice if there was like a copy, right? So we could kind of copy that one and paste it over here. Because the cars are identical, really. Um, let's just... Let's just do something like that for now. Okay. Um, car parts missing. What? We've only got one chassis. That can't be right. Installed on both cars, right? Okay. That was in the... Uh, I don't know if this number includes what is fitted or not. What's this? Oh, you can have this if you want. Congratulations. Engine is 53%. You stacked it that much. Gearbox is 0%. Okay, you may as well use that one. Uh, we'll stick on the 53% engine, I guess. For now. God damn it, mate. And you've used the, and you've used the hard tires. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, um, I'm just going to put this up a little bit. 18 laps and 18 laps. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we don't crash the car this time. That would be amazing. Okay. Let's uh, let's crank this up and see how we get on. How are we looking? Auburn, I could I could really do with uh, with you getting feedback quickly. In all honesty, buddy. Also, I don't like that Oscar is quicker than us. He was terrible last race. Four or five feedback for both of them. Here we go. Feedback on limitation. I know there's a lot more potential. Okay, Understood. well, we'll work on that, buddy. That's why they brought us in, to eke out. Eke out the last of the potential. I guess we go there. I guess we go there. That seems fine, right? You can stand on those tires. Come on then. How's the balance? Yeah, it was a bit sketchy. Sketchy? Nothing. Was it sketchy when you drove it into the wall? <laughs> right. Bloody sketchy. Whatever next. Sketchy. <laughs> okay. 
I think we're good with those. We can just tweak these a little bit, right? Something like that. Something like that. You can stay on those. Out you go, buddy. Do not crash. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> right. Okay. We middle, we expected to be kind of middle of the road, and it looks like that's what we we are. Um, again, obviously on on medium tires. Just looking for feedback, please. Tires are wearing. Okay, 20 minutes of this session to go. We just need feedback. see it everyone is okay well that's good news BSC. are we gonna get to see the crash yeah, thinks the car's good love that and you in as well Okay, what have we got? Okay. So we just need to tweak the top and the bottom. We can do that, surely, right? I feel like we're just going back and forth between where we were and what we're, we're doing. Let's go there, maybe. Nothing major. Oh, that is it's good, right? Not great. So let's go there. I feel like we've done this already, though. Right? I feel like we've done this already. Let's just see what happens. You can go out on softs again. Or do we send you out? No, we'll put you out on softs, right? What about you? Okay, not bad. Not bad. We have caught up somewhat, which is great. Okay, I guess we go with this. Just see. We are not very accustomed to this track. Looking for a good run here, Sergeant, please. One thirty three point three three. Most people are on softs. One thirty two point nine. Why are you doing one thirty fours? What is wrong with you? Come on. Should I be concerned that we're slower than the person who's crashed out? There we go. So let's check the flag. We'll take that. We'll take that. So the real question is, I feel like we get to a stage where there's only so much tweaking we can do at this point. Um, but do we just let them go out? Or do we do we do anything? Do we do we edit? Sorry, do we edit? Do we auto the last one? 85% car parts knowledge. We don't know about the satisfaction. I guess we have to do the last one, right? I don't know. You know what? No, I'm going to let you... 
I'm going to simulate it. There we go. Decision made. It'll be interesting to see if we get much better benefits. So 17 and 14th. Our best lap was 132.7, 132.9. Okay. Satisfaction. Preparation 75%. We're pretty good on the setup, right? Considering you didn't have a session, first session, I'm quite happy with that. Middle of the road for the old confidence. Now we need to change our car parts, right? Who come out on top as qualifying. Uh, car parts damaged. What did you damage this time with the engine? Yeah, we knew that. Um, okay. You've got the gearbox that we're going to race in. No, let's put this one in and we'll, we'll keep to the other one. We're all good on everything else, right? Car two, car parts. Might as well keep doing this, right? Okay. I think we're ready to go, right? I'm, I'm not great at the qualifying. I, I don't know how to find the gaps in the track, right? Which is kind of what we need. So what we're going to do is going to go out early because that seems to help. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't because of the low rubber and everything else, but... It's a bit of break temperature. Yes. We'll go out early. We'll see how uh, see how we do. Out the way, Russell. Okay, here we go. Straight out, track is clear. Here we go. Come on, boys. We're going to push the next lap. Guess go, we are motoring around here. We look good actually. We look good. Okay. Back down. I do like this kind of long, thin track that we've got here. Quite interesting that you can't really see the, which cars are on what side uh, because of the size of our 11 and 12. <laughs> Come on, boys. Okay, around this last corner. I wonder how we're looking. Didn't, I mean, it hasn't felt particularly quick, but... Okay. 129.5. That seems pretty good. Sergeant? Yes. Okay, so just keep it on the delta. Just be slightly negative if you can. Okay, let's bring these boys in. I felt like it was pretty good. Whether it turns out to be good or not, I don't know. It's not looking great right now. But some of the big boys have been going, so we might not be too bad. Okay, let's take you. And we'll put you on you. Lovely. Uh, and let's keep an eye on the clock. So let's just slow this down. The people that we would expect to be below us are below us. Um, and the people we would expect to be above us are above us. So I <laughs> don't think we've we've set the world on fire. Um, expected traffic here is is relatively low do we do we want to go out then because this is when people are going to start coming out for their their second runs right here okay and the lap takes about a minute and a half so probably getting closer to a minute 45 with a slower lap you know the the warm-up lap 
Okay. It'd be nice if it gave us kind of an indication as to when they think it would be a good time to go out. Are some people doing multiple laps? Do they go out and genuinely do two flying laps in a row? Does that happen? I'm going to send you out, you know. That's bad news. We've got to overtake Joe for sure. Oh no. Oh no. All sorts of traffic. This is horrendous. I should have waited. I should have waited. We'll take P12. Sergeant, how are you getting on, buddy? Oh, a TIE fighter. Okay. It's not looking good. P14. Okay. There's a lot of cars out there, right, who are doing their laps. We need these ones to, to wrap up and be done. Okay, three more, two more, come on. Beautiful, we are into the next session, love that. Didn't expect both our cars to get through. Good work, boys. Um, should we put them on, let's put them on the same old rubbish tyres that we had before. We could probably go on those ones, right? They're slightly better. Okay. Here we go again. Okay, the boys are out. We're going to watch Sergeant this time, and we'll do it from a different camera. What one? Maybe this one. We'll have a little watch of the, the front wing. See as it plows into a wall. Did you just come out of the pit in front of us? Unbelievable. Come on, Sergeant. The thing is, I wouldn't notice if, if this was a good lap or a bad lap, unless, you know, unless we hit a wall or career off the course. You know, I wouldn't be able to tell you what's good or bad. I understand the point of hitting an apex, um, you know, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what's enough curb versus what's too much curb, if that makes sense, you know, bouncing along the, uh, the green and white bits. I appreciate that sometimes you, you want to you wanna be on them, but a little bit too much and then, then you're in trouble. Okay, here we go. Albon's coming across the line. He is first. That's nice. Delta, stay negative. And cool. Here comes Sergeant. Yep, sure. 129.6 and about half a second slower. So okay. Zero, Select, go in lap. Copy. I mean, we're going to be near the bottom of this, right? It's not, it's not going to matter too much. Right, I'm going to wait for the big rush. Yeah, 
Here we go. Kind of is the best we could hope for, right? That probably hasn't helped our lap, I don't think. Being caught up with an Aston, probably not helping. E15. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, you know, we're out of this session, but you know, getting to session two, that's, that's important for us. Starting somewhere in the middle of the pack is important for us. 13th and a 15th, we'll take that. Okay, Perez starting top of the... Oh no, there's one more qualifying session, right? And drivers ready and raring to go. Jeddah Street Circuit certainly makes the high speeds of F1 racing a thrilling affair. But even a world champion can be caught out in between the narrow walls, just as Max Verstappen found out in 2021. We're under clear skies here tonight, certainly to the team's relief. Now they can focus their strategy on pushing their cars as much as they can. Well, this is certainly going to be a challenging, but no doubt exciting race here in Jeddah. Okay, um, let's hit continue. Clear skies today. We need to... We're in our best parts, uh, right? Well, there's not a lot we can do. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. Strategies, my friends. What are we thinking? Softs, then, then hards. Mediums, then hards. Hards, then mediums. I'm a big fan of finishing with a softer tire. With a softer tire. Anything we can do to do a soft, a medium soft? Probably not, but let's have a little look. I mean, maybe, right? About the same. About the same. I mean, I don't think we do it with you. I think we put you on softs and then we go to hards for you. Um, but for you, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to give it a little, a little cheeky. Oops. Tempted to give it a little cheeky run out on mediums and then softs and see what, see what happens, right? Okay. Uh, so we probably want you to use this and use that for the beginning. Um, and I guess we want the same thing. I'll go with that for you, but we will go for that for you just for a first couple of laps or lap or so. Um, okay. I think this is us, right? I think this is us. Soft then hards for Albon, and then we're mixing it up with Sergeant. Love that. Okay. Here we go, everybody. The drivers are lined up on the grid here at the Jeddah Corniche circuit, preparing for 50 flat-out laps under the lights. Time for Oscar Piastri to show what he can do. It's going to be difficult for them. P18, that's going to be tough to make an impression on the race from there. Right, let's get to it then. Okay, the lights are about to go out. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Here we go. go. We've lost the place already. We are going to take it back. Well, I don't know. And, uh, 
I can't remember, did we start 15th? Yeah, we start 15th, right? So Sergeant is where Sergeant is expected to be, although it looks like he's being battled for by a, a Haas, maybe? No, an Alpha Tari. Okay. You know what? One thing we didn't look at a huge amount. Let's have a look at this in kind of a battle. We uh, we seem to let the cars in front of us get away from us real quickly. Like we're not even we're not even sort of half a lap round, and they're they're they're, they're creeping away from us. When you look at all the other cars, not many of them are, are zero point six seconds behind already. Although there is a, a Hass there who's over a second. Let's see what else everybody else is on. We've got pretty even mix between softs and mediums. anyway but this camera angle is so cool a second behind unfortunately okay so we're coming into lap two which is going to be ERS sorry DRS and the problem is we're we're over a second behind um, I think it will probably be this section I guess is where it comes into play um, but um, yeah, we just want to make sure we're within touching distance right really DRS enabled P13. Gasly ahead. Bottas behind. Come on, Gasly. We, we're gunning you down, mate. We'll take off the tyres and that in a... Well, not the tyres off, but we'll take off the push. In a bit. Just really want to make sure we're within a second when we do uh, ease back. So we've got DRS to help us. Okay, we're looking good. We are closing somewhat. Now where are the tyres? Lift and coast twelve. Yep. Okay, nice. Start the lift and coast now. The RS is open. Obviously, uh, theirs is open as well. Um, because they're within a second, only just, of, of Hulkenberg. Okay, I think we're, we're good to speed up a little bit because there's not a lot happening, right? We're... DRS. Take a look now. This one is involving yeah. Yuki Sonoda. The gap. Yeah, I mean we will be in in range of Sonoda in theory to use ours, so it's not the end of the world. But what are you doing, Sergeant? What 
Why are you, why are you so much slower than them? get overtaken by by a whatever they're called a McLaren session suspended cars return to pit lane what happened now this is Logan Sargent oh no it's clear contact there and they'll have to pick themselves up after that what happened? And while all that was happening, the crew in the garage could do nothing but watch on. Time until session restarts, 20 minutes. Okay, well that's great news. What do we do for you? Where's our, where's our, where is our strategy? How do I see our, over here, do we change it? Do we put them on hards now and then go softs later down the line? There's no way we can like hard to the end of the, why can I not see the, the strategy? Why is that a thing? Oops, that's not going to do it. Surely I should be able to go in and say, well, this is what now we're going to do instead. If we put them on hards here, hards aren't going to get us to the end of the race. But we could then pit towards the end of the race and change to softs again, right? Or do we go mediums? Mediums is probably a better choice. Have we got, we still got softs. So if we were to edit our strategy. And here we're going to put on mediums. Does it help us? I don't really know. So I, I also don't really know how this works. Do we... We're under a red flag. We've said change our car to... A sense of deja vu here as mediums. the drivers once again face the countdown. And it's lights out and away we go. Push a bit more. Copy. Okay. You are free to use the energy when you want. Copy. So it looks like everybody else has moved to softs. Apart from Hulkenberg, he's gone hards. Okay. Pointing again for us, but I mean, we're going to end up going over our price cap just because of the amount of parts we have to replace. <laughs> if that's another engine that's done, we're in serious trouble. Come on, buddy, you can get past him. We are all over him. I don't how the hell you drive like that. I do not know. You know someone cuts across you. I have no idea how you know. You're, how are you not like coasting all of the time? Here we go. Yes, album.
mean, we can really push these tyres, right? Because we are we are changing again. It's nice that there are red flags. I can't remember there being too many red flags uh, in the whole of the last season that we, we raced. Um, we're chasing down another Haas. Come on, buddy. I mean, you've literally overtaken someone. You're about to overtake somebody else. I'm pretty sure of it. Come on, buddy. Let's get past him. Can you imagine a point? A point this early on for Williams. That'd be huge, right? For us, anyway. Maybe not for Williams. No, but we're not very good. I mean, we know that Williams aren't the worst car on the grid, but they definitely have the worst owner in, in me or principal. Um, okay. Do we want to ease off anything? Bring the pack up. Yeah, copy. I'm trying to squeeze down the inside there. There's not a lot of room there. from his buddy. Come on. Do we have a... Uh... We've got a little bit of room to that house. That's fine. We're over a second behind now. That's not ideal. One's on hard and one's on on softs, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So I'm not sure going on mediums was such a. I mean, it, I guess it just depends on how bad their tyres are towards the end of the race. But I'm gonna su suspect that they're probably not gonna be that bad. Back off now. Okay. Let's speed it up a little yes, bit. Copy. Let's uh, let's get through some of these. We can come in a little bit earlier for our softs. We're now three seconds behind and it's growing, uh, which is a bit disappointing. Okay, 10 seconds-ish, eight seconds. Maybe a little bit over the top, um, but Welkenberg is, is over two behind us. So we're kind of in a, in a race against no one at the moment, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, 
my safety car is out. What for? Safety car. Keep the delta positive. Yes, okay. Not the other. Not the other McLaren. Right, so this was the fourth corner. Oh, oh dear. A lot that could be done to avoid crashing into the barrier. And that's not what they would have had in mind when they woke up this morning. That is awkward if you're a McLaren fan. I take it they're both out, are they? Crash ahead, crash ahead, crash ahead. Caution through there. Has he got out? Yeah, both of those are out. I mean, that's good news about our finishing position, right? Every car that ends uh, ends the race early means we have more chance of getting higher up the grid. Uh, we just need another, like, nine cars. Everyone's pitting behind the safety car. Right, hold on. I should have been thinking about this, right? Do we pit behind the safety car? If we were to pit behind the safety car... We'd come in now, and we would, hold on, get rid of you. We could go on to hard tyres. Does that benefit us? I don't think so. We don't have any more mediums, right? I'm not convinced we've got any more softs. Um, but unless the safety car stays out for at least another lap... We'll be going right to the wire. So really the only choice we've got is to go on to hards and push the hards. Is there a benefit? Gets to the end of the race without another. Without another lap. Um, sorry, without another pit stop. All of them are pitting. I think that's the only thing we can do, right? I don't really want to, but I think that's the only thing we can do. Hold on. So let's add you. We'll get rid of... We'll change you to hards. And we'll push on the hards. So if we were to pit now, we don't have any more mediums. That's the problem. We've only got one more set of softs. Okay. God damn it. I don't know if that's wise. Box, box. Box, box. I assume everybody else is going to pit. Gasly, Russell, Stroll, Hamilton. Yeah. Hulkenberg might not, he's on hards, right? We are a long way away from behind everybody. Okay. Box. Copy. Yeah, everybody's in. Oh my lord, we had a pit stop when not everything broke. Hold on, did Hulkenberg come out of the pits in front of us? Or did he just not pit? I'm not I'm not sure. Okay, well look, we're pushing to catch up with them. What everybody else is on hards or sorry, mediums or softs. So either they're gonna try and make those last to the end. Or they're not. <laughs> um, okay, let's see when the safety car's coming in. Copy. 
We're good to push. Copy. No saving required. Okay. Okay, what about the people around us? So mediums and softs all round. Okay. So they are going to have to pit again. The question is, are they going to overtake us before they have to pit again? And the chances of that feel like they might be quite high. Um, okay, here we go. Make sure we get a good restart. Yeah, make sure you get a good restart. I feel like we got a great restart. I feel fantastic that restart, right? Okay, well look, we're pushing. I don't think there's much more we can do other than just see what happens with the gaps and everything else. last to the end of the race who knows okay and we just go right i don't think there's anything i can do other than just keep an eye on things we've lost the place to bottas and i think that's going to happen i think we're just going to slide down this this grid right because we're at the bottom of the pack no more energy yeah okay just have to hope that we need to focus on getting the pack up okay just have to hope that their tyres start to get worn and ours don't. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I wish I re understood Formula One strategy. <laughs> okay. Focus on bringing the pack back up. Yep, copy. right there god damn it okay let's hit the speed up button i don't think there's much we can do other than drop down the rankings i think all we can hope is pit stops all we can hope is pit stops come on get the tires down now how about the tires I mean, they look pretty. They probably look pretty level, right? Let's just ease off a little bit. So take it easy. Okay, copy. They're going to have to pit, right? These softs aren't going to go to the end. It's the mediums I'm more interested in. Sonoda's pitted. I think we're okay to continue pushing here. Joe is pitting. Ten laps to go. off just for a bit. Are we catching Bottas? I'm not sure we are. And forth this. No energy. Got it. We need to focus on the energy now. Okay, copy. Three laps to go. It's not looking like there's going to be a huge drop off on tyres, unfortunately. Um, you know, we have pushed as hard as we can, really. Let's get him.
Come on, Alban. Get past him. You can do this, buddy. We're right there. Come on. Nice. Love that. 11 seconds behind the car in front. <laughs> we lost that on that pit stop, I think, didn't we? Let's just watch that again. That was pretty nice. It was the Williams driver we see there. Can they squeeze by? Forced it down the inside. Love that. Use energy. Uh oh. Please tell me we're not going to run out of fuel. Coast. Yes, copy. This is last lap. We should be fine here, right? Uh, a bit of a gap between us and Bottas. Oh, God. Just get this back to green, please. Big lift now. Copy. Come on, please. So slow now. Yeah. Please tell me we can finish the race. Please tell me we can finish the race. Oh no. We can finish the race, right? It's right there. Nice. Thank God for that. P13. It's a tough day. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Well, uh, you know what? We started there, we finished there, Sergeant didn't finish, more money spent on car parts, uh, but we'll take 13, right? It's, it's within touching distance of points, and we've got parts coming. Now, I feel okay about it. I don't feel horrendous. A little bit disappointed, but... Dear, oh dear, what a disaster of a drive for Logan Sergeant. That'll be quite a blow, having to cut their race short, but they'll be doing everything they can to come back stronger. And onto the podium goes Sergio Perez, and he's certainly in good company there. That gives them their first win of the season, and it was really well deserved. And finally now, the drivers can relax after an eventful weekend at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Well, there we go. Let's wrap this up. Um, three, three cars didn't finish. Unfortunately, one of them was ours. Still don't pick up any points. Uh, we're down here. Moved up a place. That's nice. Um, pit stops. Let's have a little look. Um, nothing here for us. Fastest pit stop. We're tenth. Not ideal. Uh, and quite slow in comparison to the grid. You didn't even manage to make a a, a stop. Okay, let's um, let's have a look here. We do get three million dollars or pounds. Not sure what what the currency is. Um, but I think this is where we. We wrap up, right? We've got our new car parts coming. Let's go and have a little look at the inbox because um, I've noticed some tension between Olbon and race engineer Ben Mitchell. I'm not sure why they're not getting along, uh, but I know this can have an impact on morale and track performance. So I thought you should know. Um, is it because... Tensions may improve. Let's intervene. I mean, we can always swap them round, right? I just tried to put them on the best um, engineer, on the best driver. Uh, okay, this this is not being a good weekend, right? We're gonna have to look at that. Uh, next up is Australia. Our car is falling apart. Um, we have got bits being finished down here right so in a couple of days 
but then we're, we're racing so we're gonna have to get those manufactured pretty quickly we're gonna put a in here thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe button follow us on twitter at scott.gaming see you again soon thank you